the Son of God, who is truly God, became a human being like us. He is truly God, but also truly human. And in our Gospel, St. Matthew narrates the Annunciation to St. Joseph. It tells us how Joseph slowly came to understand the plan of God that started with the mysterious pregnancy of Mary, to whom Joseph was engaged to be married. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel invites us to look at Joseph because he too, like John the Baptist, like Mary, helped us to focus on Jesus and to prepare for the coming of Jesus. St. Joseph gives us a very good example on how to welcome Jesus as he comes to us. Joseph, the righteous man. Joseph, the legal father of Jesus. Joseph, the protector of the Holy Family. St. Joseph is a major character of the Advent and the Christmas season. St. Joseph played an important role in the story of our salvation. But even though he plays an important role, a major role, the scriptures, the Holy Bible, is silent about him. And he is silent in the scriptures. He never uttered a word. Ni minsan, wala tayong mababasa sa Biblia na salitang sinabi ni Jose. Hindi dahil bibi siya o hindi dahil hindi siya makapagsalita, kundi dahil sa itinuturo niya sa kanyang katahimikan. Joseph teaches us by his silence. And Joseph, by his silence, teaches us the value of silence. We can find two reasons why silence is important to people of today especially as we celebrate the mystery of the Lord's birth. First, silence is important in moments of confusion and crisis. Kapag tayo'y nasa gitna ng kaguluhan, magkalito, problema, krisis, mahalaga ang katahimikan. In our age, people react so easily with words. When we are confronted with problems, we readily shout, curse, or threaten. Kapag may hindi pagkakaunawaan, kapag may hindi pagkakasunduan, kapag may alitan, kapag may kaguluhan o problema, ang bilis-bilis nating sumigaw, humusga, magmura, magbigkas ng mga salitang nakakasakit sa ating kapwa. And even in social media, social media is full of word wars, digmaan ng mga salita. And because of this, we deepen the hurt that we cause each other. We even do violence through the impact of our bitter and negative words. But my dear brothers and sisters, when Joseph learned about Mary's unexplained pregnancy, Joseph did not pass judgment on her immediately. Hindi niya agad-agad dinuskahan si Maria. Hindi siya agad-agad nagbitaw ng salita dapat kay Maria. And it was in his silence that the angel of the Lord came and enlightened him. My dear brothers and sisters, how many times have we gotten into trouble because we have spoken too soon? Ilang beses na ba tayong napasok sa gulo dahil ang bilis-bilis nating nagpitaw ng salita? 
Ilang beses na ba tayong napaaway dahil ang bilis-bilis natin humusga? Ilang beses na ba tayong nagkaroon ng alitan sa kapwa dahil ang bilis-bilis nating sumigaw at magbitaw ng mga masasamang salita. In the face of crisis, Joseph chose to remain silent. He immersed himself into silence because he knew that was the right thing to do. Silence that we could hear the voice of God. Do you think Joseph will ever hear the word of God if he was not silent? Maririnig kaya ni Jose ang mensahe ng Panginoon kung ang ginawa niya ay ipamalita sa lahat ng tao na itong si Maria ay nagdadalang tao. Maririnig kaya ni Jose ang mensahe ng Panginoon kung ang ginawa niya ay pumunta sa iba't ibang tao upang konsultahin sila kung ano ang dapat niyang gawin. Pero dahil pinili ni Jose ang katahimikan, nagkaroon ang Diyos ng pagkakataon na magsalita sa Kanya. My dear brothers and sisters, in order to hear God, we have to be silent. And not just the silence of our lips, but more importantly, the silence of our mind, the silence of our heart, the silence of our soul. God cannot be heard if there are too many noises externally and internally. We will only hear God if we are silent. That is why it is good to ask ourselves today, are we still used to silence? Do we still find it comfortable when everything is silent? Sanay pa ba tayo sa katahimikan? O baka naman kapag tahimik na, hindi na tayo mapakali? Our world is so used to noise. Mas nasasanay tayo sa ingay ng ating kapaligiran 